Hi, welcome back to Science Magic Platform. Today I'm here with the first lesson, CBSC Class 7 Science, Nutrition in Plants. So, in this lesson, we are going to see the things coming under nutrition in plants. So, we should know what is nutrition. The process of taking food by an organism and its utilization by that organism for the survival. So, that process is called as nutrition. There are two modes of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So, autotrophic means auto, means self or by its own. It can produce food. So, nutrition by its own. The meaning of autotroph means. And heterotroph means the organisms which is dependent on autotrophs are called as heterotrophs and mode of nutrition is called as heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So, here today I am with only the autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic will be discussing in the second part of this video. We have many things coming under autotrophic mode of nutrition which is producing food by its own. So, who is producing food by its own? Those are called green plants. So, green plants are having a specific mechanism to produce food that is called as photosynthesis. So, we will see how these autotrophic mode of nutrition happens and how is a green plant produces food by this process. So, I will draw a diagram to explain. So, if this is the stem part, there are roots under the ground to absorb nutrients and water to the plant. And here we have leaf. So, I am drawing a big leaf to show the raw materials which is required to produce food and what are the products formed after the mechanism of photosynthesis. So, here... First, I am writing carbon dioxide. I am just rubbing this to write this. Carbon dioxide. I am using the chemical formulas to save the space. So, carbon dioxide is taken from air, which is the gas liberated after a respiration process. Then, from the root is giving water. H2O. These are the two main raw materials required by the plant to produce. It requires one more thing. Can you imagine what is the thing? That is energy. It requires energy to do this process that is from the sun. So, the solar energy is absorbed by the green color pigment chlorophyll. And with the help of these raw materials, it is producing two products that is called as glucose plus liberating the gas oxygen O2. So, this is the formula we can write. This is the equation we can write to represent photosynthesis process. Carbon dioxide and water are the main raw materials. With the help of uh, chlorophyll, a green color pigment, which is absorbing the solar energy and converting to the form of chemical energy during this process and producing a simple carbohydrate called as glucose and oxygen is one of the end product which is liberated out to the air. So, during the process of photosynthesis, we are getting plenty of oxygen liberated from the plant. So, this is, this is the process called photosynthesis. So, after the production of this glucose, this glucose is the 
simple carbohydrate sometimes if the plant is producing extra glucose for example in the case of human beings if you pro if you are taking if you are producing more energy the extra form of glucose is stored in the form of fat like that the extra glucose is stored in different form forms in the parts of the plant like it can be in the form of starch it can be in the form of fat it can be in the form of oil it can be in the form of proteins it can be in the form of vitamins so all these types of forms the extra food is stored in different parts of the plant so this is about photosynthesis so the first topic is covered we'll move to the next one what is stomata what is the difference between stomata and stoma what is stomata and stoma so we have small or tiny pores on the surface of the leaf which is helping for the plant to exchange the gas during photosynthesis which gas is taken inside that is carbon dioxide which gas liberates out oxygen so during photosynthesis carbon dioxide in oxygen out during respiration by the plant the oxygen is inside and carbon dioxide is liberated out like human beings so here i'll draw the structure of this stomata to understand when we are seeing the stomata through a microscope how does it look you see now so i'm drawing two round structures because through the microscope the view will be the round shape then inside here i'm sh showing open stomata i told you stomata means plural form of this opening and stoma means it is the singular form so this is now this first one represents the open stomata second one closed one i'll show you how can you understand which is the open one and which is the closed one just observe my drawing then it will be easy for you to draw the structure like this just to draw like the some structures here then just fill it like this like this then it will be very easy to draw okay now so you can see the inside part the round is very big now the stomata is open ready for the exchange of gases so here you can see this is the open stomata this is open stomata and what are these cells some things are guarding the stomata like security guards so we are calling these the cells as guard cells so these guard cells will decide when to open the stomata when to close the stomata so these two are guard cells inside the guard cells you can see some structures actually this is green in color some structures are there in dot form i'm representing here that is called as chloroplast so chloroplast are the structures where chlorophyll the green color pigment is present ready for preparing food by photosynthesis process so this is about open stomata moving to the closed stomata how is the structure this will be very big now the center part is the stomata closed stomata because there is no exchange of gases and these two are representing guard cells so first diagram for open stomata second one is closed because there is no exchange of gas by photosynthesis or by respiration process so the chloroplast is a structure which is present in the guard cells which contains the 
pigments. So this is about open stomata and closed stomata. So moving to the next, so photosynthesis is done, stomata is done. So moving to the next one, colored leaves. So normally we are seeing all the leaves in green color. Why? Because it contains the green color pigment. So we knew only about this green color pigment chlorophyll. So we don't know about much about uh, the other color pigments. Because the leaves are looking green in color. But some leaves are appearing in different colors. I have beetroot leaf here. You can see some red color is mixed with green. And we have different types of colored leaves. So why are these colors appearing on the leaves instead of green? So we have different types of pigments. We have xanthophyll. We have chlorophyll. A and B. We have carotene. So all these are different color pigments giving different colors to the leaf. Which color is dominant or which color is dominating? That color will be appearing outside. So xanthophyll is giving yellow color. Then chlorophyll A is giving yellow green mixed color. Chlorophyll B is giving Blue, green color, carotin is giving orange color. Then anthrocyanin that is giving red color. So we have different types of pigments. Which color is predominant? That color will be giving to the giving to the leaf. So this is about the color, different color leaves. Then we have next one cactus. Cactus is a type of plant which usually see in deserts. Why? Because they have modified structure adapted to the condition where they are living to survive in the absence of more water. So here I can show you one cactus. In the cactus there are no leaves. The leaves are modified into small spine structures and there is stem which is green in color which contains chlorophyll and performing photosynthesis. So instead of leaf, the stem is preparing food for the plant. So this is the mechanism of photosynthesis in cactus plant. Then, next one is algae. A-L-G-A-E is pronounced as algae. Plural form. If it is singular, we can call it as alga. Singular. These are plant. These are the plants. Slimy structure and floating on stagnant water. Stagnant water means which is not having much movements. Like pond or river. Or a swimming pool. If uh, many days if you are not using, you can see the growth of this green color structure, which is does not, which is not having any specific stem or root or leaf, but it is producing food by the process called photosynthesis because it contains the green color pigment chlorophyll. Then only one thing is left now under this autotrophic mode of nutrition. That is starch test. So how do we perform the starch test? First take the leaf. Pluck one healthy green color leaf. Put this leaf inside a beaker containing alcohol. Then boil it. So that once the temperature reaches... This alcohol decolorizes the leaf. Decolorizes means removes the green color pigment or any other pigment present in the leaf. Now take out the leaf after some time. Now this leaf is 
a decolorized leaf that is leaf without the presence of any colors now just keep for some time for drying purpose apply iodine iodine drops so if the color is changing to blue black the color is changing to blue black we can tell it contains starch so this is the test for starch because i told you once the glucose is formed some food will be stored in the form of starch the detection of the presence of the starch content in the leaf can be identified by following these steps to do starch test so this is about the autotrophic mode of nutrition and next video i will be explaining heterotrophic mode of nutrition hope you understood all these concepts bye